Hello Chemistry 300 students, Mr. Parker here and in this screencast we're going to practice uh, converting from one unit to the next using the domino method and you should be looking at page 49 and 50 in your packet and um, what I'm going to do is I'm not going to go through every one of these problems, I'm going to walk you through one problem as a sample. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at number three and that's one I'm going to take you on a little tour of. So the problem reads here Alright, I have a horse race that is 55.0 furlongs, and how many yards is that? Alright, so we're going from furlongs that we're starting with, and we want to end in yards. So this is how you set up your dominoes initially. We're going from our starting spot to our ending spot. So now we're going to go up to the conversion table and take a look. Alright, so we're starting here looking at the whole entire table. We can see that here is where furlongs is at. So we're going, starting from furlongs and we want to get to this term here, this unit called yards. Well, I can go from furlongs to rods and then I can go from rods to feet and then feet to yards using this conversion. Okay, so we're going to, we're going to use that table. Um, so I'm not going to flip back, keep going back and forth, but you can go ahead and uh, write on your sheet and take a look at that. So, we know from that chart now that we're going to go from furlongs, okay, to the um, idea of rods. So, furlongs are going to pair up our domino. Then we have rods on the other side of the domino. Then we have rods that has to match up. And rods go with feet from our conversion. And feet go with yards from up top in the, in the conversion table. Alright, so from there, then what we're going to do is go ahead and let's put our numbers in. So we have 55.0 furlongs, and we know there is one furlong for every 40 rods. There's also one rod for every 16.5 feet, and there are three feet in one yard. Alright, so remember what you're going to do is you're going to flip everything counterclockwise. Well, I won't say everything. The first two, or the first one and the last one have to stay. You flip everything else in the middle. Okay? So let's go ahead and do this. So we have 55.0 furlongs. Okay? Our first conversion then will be 40 rods, flipping it counterclockwise, over one furlong. Then we have 16.5 feet over one rod and then we have one yard over three feet. Alright, so then what you're going to do is you're going to multiply across on the top, multiply it across on the bottom. Alright, so doing that we're going to come up with on top three six three zero zero and the units for that, you can see, are going to be furlongs, rods, feet, and yards. Okay. And on the bottom, we have three furlongs, rod, and feet. All right, so looking at this, our furlongs can cancel out, rods can cancel out, feet can cancel out, and what we're left with for our unit would be yards. So if you do your math, okay, you come out to one, two, one, zero, zero yards for your answer. Okay. Now again, um, it's up to your teacher if they want to do sig figs or not. So um, you need to check with them. But remember, with multiplying or dividing sig figs, you um, for your answer, you always look at the least amount of significant figures in the numbers. So you just have to look at all your other numbers in the problem and see what is the least amount of sig figs, okay? Um, if you look through the problem, you cancel out these furlongs and the rods and feet, okay, and you're left with the yards there too. I just did kind of a long version here so you can see it, all right? So hopefully that helps out. And let me go ahead and flip over to the answer key for the other ones, and I can let you take a look at those, okay? Um, again, I'm not going to um, stay on here too long, but you can always pause it and take a look at it. Um, looking at the different answers and see the work and how to get to those answers. Here's number three that we just took a look at. Number four, 
and then also number five, a little bit longer, same, follow the same pattern though, flipping those over uh, counterclockwise. All right, so hopefully um, looking at the screencast um, and using the screencast to help you with the domino method will um, help you understand dimensional analysis a little bit better. All right, thanks.